Hello, hello, everybody. This is Melissa from stampwithmelissa.com here. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Minnesota, which is in the United States. And um, welcome to my weekly Facebook and YouTube live video. If you're catching the replay, I want to say welcome. This video is being live streamed on Tuesday, January 25th at 7 p.m. Central Time. So I hopped on a f just about, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds to a minute late, um, which I'll explain in a second. But I'm going to let people find me and say hello once you join. Um, and that way I know I'm in the right spot. Hi, Alicia. Um, yeah, so I joined a little bit late and I'm still hoping I don't forget anything. My brain might be a little bit mushy um, because I was just on um, a like a mentoring session in a demonstrator group and it went for three hours. <laughs> so it was incredible. It was so much fun. Um, but yeah, it was three hours long. And actually, we just got done about five minutes ago. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do before I can go live. Usually I give myself about like 20 minutes to get ready for my lives. And I had five. So um, I think everything is mostly ready. But bear with me in case in case anything, any shenanigans happen tonight. Um, we are working with a super... Hi, Deb. I'm sorry, I'm hearing my phone echo, so I hope it's okay. I hope audio is okay on your end. I noticed that, when, so I use my computer to film my face and my, hi mom, hi Debbie, uh, my phone to film the desktop. And when I use the phone's microphone, sometimes it cuts out. Um, so I'm trying to use my computer's microphone, but my phone, I, it's a weird iPhone thing. They don't totally shut off. So good. Okay, Deb says that it's all good. Hi, Brenton. I can just hear myself slightly, but my phone is so close to me. So maybe that's just an issue for me, which is fine. Um, okay. I'm going to flip down and I'm going to show you the card we're going to make today. Here it is. Um, so this is the adorable card we're going to make. See, my camera is still a little bit funky because I don't have time to properly get it all set up. We'll try that. <laughs> and I'm even going to bring my light in a little bit more. There we go. Let's try that. Um, this is the card we're going to make today. I'm glad Deb is here because last week I asked what you wanted to see. And Deb said she wanted to see the otters. I, I said it was going to be the otters, but she said, hi, Keisha. She wanted to see the otters with the picture this dies. So that's what I did. <laughs> and it's so, it's such a cute card. Yeah, you're right, Deb. It's so cute. It was so fun to make. And I'm going to show you how to make it today. Um, so this stamp set we're using today is called Awesome Otters. And it's so cute. I know I've said this before, but if you're in the U.S., there are otter stamps that you can put on, um, like actual stamps from the post office that you can put on your otter cards when you mail them out. So just keep that in mind. Um, Okay, so we're going to use this guy, and this guy is actually from our celebration brochure. So this is what that looks like. I'm going to find the stamp set here. Here it is. And this is free in my online store with an order of $50 or more, and you can actually choose that as one of your free options, which is pretty awesome. Celebration is so much fun. So I'm going to pop up on the screen here. There is my um, shopping link, shop.stampwithmelissa.com. And my host code there is for um, orders under $150 before shipping and tax. So um, if you are in need of anything I use tonight, you can grab it right there. And of course, you can choose this. If you don't want to choose the otters, then you're crazy. No, I'm just kidding. But there are other options if you'd like to choose that as well. All right, I'm going to take that away and we're going to go ahead and get started. And this is where I'm saying things might be a little, my brain might be a little mushy um, because let's hope that I can remember how to build this card. <laughs> I do, but we'll get there. All right, so we're going to use um, a pool party card base. And then I've got a piece of pool party here that I have embossed with the bark embossing folder. I thought it kind of made it look like waves. I really liked that. So um, that's what I'm going to use. You can kind of see it. It's pretty subtle back here um, behind the designer series paper there. Uh, it's super cute. And then we've got a piece of, actually, this is the Sunshine and Rainbows DSP. And that's also another celebration item that is free with a $50 order. And this was die cut with the picture this dies. And I'm going to show those to you. Um, so the picture this die set has two dies, one rectangular, one circular. And they actually cut out the whole grouping of photos at one time. So, or I should say the whole, 
grouping of photos. I don't know. That makes sense, right? <laughs> I know they're not pictures, but you get what I'm saying. Um, they're not individual die cuts. They die cut at the same time. Uh, so I have used the circle ones a lot, and I have not used the rectangles a ton, but we're going to do it today. So I wanted to show you what those dies looked like. Then what do I have here? I have a piece of basic white. This is going to go back here, right? To be our background. I've got another piece of basic white for the inside of the card. So I'm going to keep that off to the side for now. And then I have a little strip of DSP that I just thought would be kind of fun to work with on the inside of the card. So I kept that after cutting my DSP for this card. And then I have little scraps of Mango Melody, So Saffron, and Flirty Flamingo to do our cute little hats. Unfortunately, we have to fussy cut today. <laughs> you know, that's not my favorite, but it's okay because it's cute. So, um, and then a strip of So Saffron for our sentiment. So with all that, let's go ahead and get started. So I forgot to grab my seal. So you're going to see my arm. There we go. Um, I'm going to start with putting some seal on the back of my embossed piece. Now the trick, whoops, look at that. I was just about to say it and then it happened. It was like magic. The trick with embossed pieces, did you see how that paper kind of, you know, peeled up? Um, that's because I pressed too hard with my seal. So you want to have a light touch. But the other trick with it is you want to make sure there's quite a bit of adhesive. So there, I had a lighter touch and none of the cardstock pulled up. Um, you want to have a lot of adhesive because it's so textured that you want to make sure it actually will stick. So keep that in mind. But this will actually layer right on the front of our card. Super cute. Doesn't it look like water? I really think it looks a lot like water. Um, you could also use the new, I forget the actual name of it, but the wave background stamp in the new mini catalog. That would be cute too. Okay, so now let's talk about this because I'm going to bring in some scrap paper here because what you would normally do with this die set or with the circle one, is you would have individual strips of paper. Yeah, it really does. Alicia confirmed. It really does look like water. I think it's it's just perfect for this stamp set. <laughs> um, but you would usually cut individual strips of paper to go in each of these cutouts. I did not do that. I have one piece of paper. So I could still cut it down, but I don't want to do that. And so here's what I'm going to do. Now my basic white piece, all the measurements will be on my blog, which I'll post tomorrow morning, Wednesday, January 26th at 8 a.m. Central Time. Um, so you can view those there. But what I did is I actually just trimmed this white piece a little tiny bit, maybe like a sixteenth of an inch smaller than the blue or the DSP. So what I'm going to do here is I've got my pieces here and I'm going to use another super messy piece of scrap paper. And I'm actually going to put it right here, which is where the DSP meets with that white, right? I'm just going to set it right there, pull my DSP out. I'm not going to move anything. Grab my ink, grab my stamp, and we're going to stamp this down right in that little open section. Now I'll pull this back in. You can see about how thick that top piece is, so we just keep that in mind but we're going to have a little border at the top so we don't want to go too high with it, okay, and stamp that down. Oh, thanks, Alicia. She said, so smart. I'm going to close my ink just so I don't dip my arm in it, um, and now I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here so we'll make sure that we did that. Look at so cute. Pretty perfect. It didn't go quite all the way down to the line, but it's okay because our coloring will kind of hide that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this next one, and I'm not too concerned because this next one we're using isn't a very tall stamp, right? And so if I stamp it like right about here, I know that it won't go too high to be seen in this next window. So I'm not going to worry about him too much about putting another piece at the top. You totally could if you wanted to. So I'm just going to ink this guy up and, oh, did I move that? I don't know if I did. You guys probably saw. Did I move it? No, I don't think I did. Good job, Melissa. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to go ahead and stamp him down like so. Again, just going to close this so I don't make a mess. And we'll double check it because, of course, 
cardstock has two sides. Wait. Maybe this way. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Um, cardstock has two sides. So if you make a mistake, start over. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to go ahead and do our last one, which is going to cover up the top of this DSP. We'll hold that paper in place and pull out our um, little DSP. And we're going to use this last. I like to call this one the dancing otter. He's so cute. He's just so happy for a party. He's ready. <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and stamp him down right about there which I didn't even come close to, yeah, I didn't even come close to needing that extra piece just to be safe. All right, so let me get rid of that. And I don't think we need that anymore either. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna color. So while I color, I'll talk a little bit about that, but I wanna hear about your guys' weekends and how things went. So I'm gonna use crumb cake on my otters and I'm actually using the dark, blend for the, um, I guess I'd say the exterior of the otter, um, you know, the main parts of the otter, and then his tummy will be done in the light crumb cake. So let's get him all colored here. And yeah, I want to hear about your guys' weekends. How were your weekends? It is brutally cold here in Minnesota. Um, I think I looked a little like at four o'clock today, so about three hours ago, and I think I saw it was like two degrees, but that does not include the wind chill, uh, which is much colder. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nancy. She said, love the otters. Um, yeah, the wind chill makes it much colder here, but luckily I don't have to go outside too much ever. Um, yeah, that makes it a lot nicer. Okay, you can see I was just being a little bit careful around the otter because I didn't want to uh, color over his eyes or anything like that. And I'm also using the dark one to color his nose. But sometimes I like to use um, the black stamp and blend to do the nose. All right. Um, and I'm not too worried about like the, the barriers here, right? Because I didn't stamp the whole image. So um, let's see. Okay. So Saturday I attended a demonstrator only online event called creative convention, and that was super fun. And I made really cute projects that I'm super excited to share with you guys over the coming weeks. Um, you're going to love them. And on Sunday I went to see come from away, which is, a uh, if you're not familiar, it is a musical about a town called Gander and they actually housed um, the planes that were diverted during 9-11. So it was a very uplifting story. It's, you know, based, Gander is a real town in Canada. Um, it was very, very good. Probably one of my favorite musicals I've ever seen, and I've probably seen about 50 between Broadway or like a Broadway touring show. Um, so I think... I need to go see it again, but it left Minneapolis, so I'll have to go somewhere else to see it. Um, very, very good. All right. Okay, we're done with this one. Um, Alicia said, a lot of craft room time, which she loves, but she's starting to get cabin fever. Yes, I do feel that. Um, I totally get that. And I think it's good to stamp with other people. That's why I like to do this. I know I don't get to see your faces when I go live, but this really does bring me a lot of joy and happiness every week because you're my people. <laughs> and I love to have you here, you know, love to get to connect with you and all that fun stuff. Um, but yes, I totally get the cabin fever. It's so hard when you don't really get to change your scenery much. And unfortunately, the big C word makes it like that sometimes. So yeah. I get that. Um, okay, so I am going to attach. Oh, I gotta color the fish <laughs> uh, and the water. Oh my gosh, I thought I was done. Look at me. Um, Keisha got a new used desk and dismantled her craft space. She ordered ink and blend storage systems, which should be here tomorrow. Oh, that's awesome, Keisha. I'm glad you get to do a little reorganization. That's sometimes what I find when I have cabin fever. It seems to be um, at some point in the winter, every winter. Uh, you know, it's spring cleaning, but I just get, like, the urge to purge, I guess. <laughs> I didn't mean to rhyme, but it just happened. Um, yeah, I just get, like, this urge. I want to clean. I want to declutter. 
I think it's like after Christmas too that I just really feel inspired to do that. So Brenton says he's involved with a local theater group. That's awesome. And they're doing this Wizard of Oz and he's the makeup artist. That's super cool. Um, that's so cool. So I actually work full time at a theater and we are currently doing Mary Poppins. And by we, I mean, I'm more administrative. So I do not I do not go on stage, <laughs> but um, yeah, they're doing Mary Poppins right now. So that's pretty, it's pretty fun to see like shows happening. Um, but that's cool to know, Brent, uh, Brenton, that that's kind of fun. Um, yeah. So, and makeup artists too. That's pretty cool. Cause that show has a lot of different, different kind of like styles. Um, yeah. All right. So now I'm ready to do this. I've got some dimensionals here that I'm going to pop this up on, but I need to um, cut them because I ran out of my sheet. And so if you've never heard this tip before, uh, you need to know it. <laughs> when you're all out of dimensionals, do not get rid of the edges because they're dimensionals too. So you can just cut them up whatever length you need and use them. Super fun. So uh, let's get these all attached here. And let's see, I'm kind of being careful. So I, our big ones for the most part do fit uh, pretty much everywhere with this die set, but you do wanna be a little bit careful because you do have some skinnier portions of it. Like down here, I think I can get this to fit down here. Oh yeah, look at that. And I am just going dimensional crazy because I don't want anything to sag, so. Let's see. Oh yeah, Alicia said, sometimes the edge dimensionals are her favorite. I would agree with that. Um, even the edge ones of the mini dimensionals, I cut those things so small. I don't know why, but... Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, Brenton says, good thing he has an assistant. Um, yeah, because there is a lot of different designs in that. I actually did a production of Wizard of Oz when I was in high school and our high school did not have like a fly we didn't have a fly system because the ceilings just didn't warrant like a permanent one. Um, but when we did Wizard of Oz, we paid for like a fly rental uh, to come in and were able to fly the witch on, or, you know, what's her name? Oh no. Did you guys see what just happened? You just ripped it. <laughs> um, it's okay. We're going to make this work. Maybe I will pivot a little bit and have that covered by something, but that's what, I, you know, Oh, well, it stuck down before I was ready for it to stick down and I just ripped it, but that's okay because we'll live and you don't, you don't even, you can't even notice. <laughs> All right. I'm going to actually just take another little dimensional and stick it up right under there. So it looks a little bit more, um, attached, I guess. Right now that piece is kind of falling down. Uh, but what I was saying is, I don't remember, is it Mrs. Gulch is, turns into the witch? I think that's her name. But we were able to fly her and our real live Toto and also Glinda. So that was kind of fun. All right. Now I'm going to take my seal again. And I'm just going to add some seal to the center of my cardstock here. Oh, man, I pressed too hard again. You guys. <laughs> I am having a little bit of an off day. But it's okay. I know you guys are patient with me, so. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this down and we're gonna figure out how to fix that little discrepancy there. Yeah, Mrs. Gulch, okay. I thought so, but I have not uh, seen the movie or the musical in a long time, so. Okay, so how can we fix that? You guys, if you have suggestions, let me know. I'll show you a little bit closer. It just full on ripped right there. I was thinking about what if we move the sentiment from being down here to up here, but then I think it would cover the otter. So if you have a thought on how to fix that, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to try to think of a way too. And you know what? We might just leave it because I don't think it looks all too awful. Like it, you can't really notice it much. Um, but it does remind me one of uh, my friends who I sent a Christmas card to texted me after he got his card and he said when he was pulling it out of the envelope he actually pulled the whole sentiment off <laughs> um oh the yeah i could move the bow up there this card i didn't actually use any embellishments but that would be a good idea i could just put the bow up there 
That's brilliant. Thank you. Um, Keisha says blue gems. You know what? I don't think I have any of our, like, I know we have blue gems. I don't think I have any. And I don't know with the thickness if it would be too much to mail. You know what I mean? All right. So you can see here I stamped the party hats. Uh, and I did one in Flirty Flamingo, one in So Saffron, and one in Mango Melody. And unfortunately, there's no dies or a punch. So we are cutting them out. Fussy cutting. These are luckily a pretty easy fussy cut. I'm not going in all the little divots of the party hat. I'm just cutting around it like a circle. <laughs> all right. Let's do this one. Cut all the way around it. Okie dokie, here we go. So, um, we're also at my day job. We are about to start Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dream Coat. So, that'll be fun. All right. Last one. Here we go. This is Mango Melody. Do you guys use Mango Melody um, a lot? I don't. And I need to. <laughs> but I just, I don't know. I guess I just don't ever pull it out. Um, my stash. Oh, yeah. Alicia says, great show. Joseph is a very good show. The last time I did Joseph, I actually was the stage manager for it. And we had 108 cast members. So quite a lot. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to flip these guys over. Actually, I didn't need to flip them over, but this is what I was talking about when I cut them really small. So I'm actually going to cut on the edge here. <coughs> Excuse me. And make them small. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry about that. A little embarrassing. You know when you just breathe in wrong and then <coughs> I just had a coughing attack. So I apologize for that. Hopefully I've got it under control. Oh man, that was bad. But I'm okay. I think I'm okay. All right. Sorry about that. Thanks for those of you who are still here. I know I just kind of was like, hold on, and I ran off. But okay, so I cut these really small. Yeah, thank you. Um, I cut these really small because I'm actually going to... Oh, my voice sounds funny. <coughs> All right. I'm going to actually put these right on uh, the white, my basic white DSP, or my basic white cardstock here. And the reason for that is because I want these hats to be popped up, but I don't want them to be too tall. So... Yeah, okay, that's my mom. She said, cough attacks always come at the worst time. Yes, they do. <laughs> so, and that one I think I just kind of like inhaled and all the air like, whoops, sorry guys. But like I said, thanks for still being here. All right, we're going to speed through the rest of this video. So I'm going to attach these guys um, on, these hats on, right? 
But this way, they don't sit up way too tall, which is good. So there are those three cute little hats. Now we're going to do the inside, or I'm sorry, the sentiment. I think I might skip the inside tonight <coughs> just because, you know, you know. <coughs> so we are going to go ahead and stamp down this cute little sentiment that says it's birthday time. And I'm just going to trim that with my paper snips. Ah, okay. So we'll just go ahead and trim this guy. And I'm going to even add like a little tail here. So I'm going to cut off a little bit of that. And then I'm going to cut up the center and do a little flag here. Whoops, there we go. It's shooting all over the place. And then same thing here. I'm actually going to cut a dimensional here and stick it right on the white. And that way that doesn't stick up too high either. Then I will take my little banner here and stick that down. And look at how cute that is. So there is that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I am so sorry, you guys. Um, all right. So um, I'm going to take my linen thread now and tie a bow. And with Alicia's great advice about putting it up where that crack was, that's what we're going to do. So you will see in the picture tomorrow, um, you'll see it down here, but you guys will know because you were here with me through it all. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to cut that. I'm going to grab my glue dots and we will stick this guy on here. And when I pull it off, I'm actually going to like roll up. I rolled up that glue dot in my fingers. Um, so that it's not as big because they're so flat that they would, it would be exposed. So, all right, then I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to cover that guy right up. Brilliant idea. So thanks for that, Alicia. <coughs> and the recipient of this card will never know. <laughs> all right. So that is the card today. I'm going to show you, I know I have an inside that I still have to do, but I'll just show you on this one what I did. So I actually took that extra DSP strip and I just kind of cut it. Um, not quite in half because this piece is a little bit longer. And then I just layered them on the inside with the You Are Otterly Awesome. So this stamp or this card actually used all six of the stamps in this stamp set, which is pretty awesome. So, all right, I'm going to go and take care of this. <laughs> um, excuse me. Thank you guys so much for the kind compliment or the kind card compliments. Again, thank you for staying here and being patient while I went and, you know, hacked a lung or whatever in the other room. <laughs> um, maybe that was TMI, but you know how it goes. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I will catch you next week. All right, bye for now.